What's up guys, my name is Dragon, and welcome back to the Gaming Planet. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a s s weird video. Because Terraria's Journey Mode, I have been playing way too much of it. I'm going to be taking a step back, going into where they didn't have it, but this video is still going to be very stupid. Today, I've, as you can tell, I'm playing T-Mod Loader, which is the version of Terraria which you're allowed to mod as you can tell with these two selections here mods and mod browser and the mods I'll be using today are all the ones in this list here so if you guys want you can look at all these and download them for yourself and play just what I'm doing but the reason why this video is going to be really stupid is because of this mod right here the randomizer mod now what this does is it takes every single item from all of these mods as well as from original Terraria and makes it so that anything in the game can drop them. It also makes it so shops have random items, enemies have random AI, and enemies also have random uh, like actual, like some enemies have the sprites of different enemies. It's just, it's insane. And I will show you exactly what I mean right now. So as you can tell, we got a pretty normal world, but that guy's flying. Which is kind of weird. But you know, everything seems sort of normal, except, you know... See the Spismuth ca casket, there's the dev items inside. Ah yes, Licksturm Beer and Cataclysm Adamantite. Exactly what I remember having. But as you can tell, there are a lot of weird weirdly named items. Not as not in the inventory that you start out with, but is as you go along you will start seeing some pretty weirdly named items. Now these are just class mods. I'm just gonna use the warrior one because I like melee and then consume that. And then I'm also going to do fighter because that is also melee. Player stats, I uh, don't need that right now, but I'll just take it for the time being. Don't need that. Keep that for now. Keep, keep, keep. Now, if I also do sound different, it's just because I'm trying out a new way of recording so that my voice is being recorded by a different software than the game is, which means hopefully that it will sound way better in the end of this video, or whenever I'm done actually recording. But... That's all, that whole city right there, that's from a mod. And if I do find enemies eventually, you will see that I will also get really weirdly named items and random items from them. So let's say I just cut down this tree real quick. This wood's named Chainmail Pumpkin Trophy, and that slime is flying. So yeah, it is very, very weird. Of course we got, uh, a banner of some sort, and then of course with the normal slime drops. Shield one egg. Alright then. But yeah, every single item is named random. I, it's a random name. It's random damage. It's random uh, drops from enemies. Everything is just chaotic as all hell. So, this is gonna be a not a fun time. Like, before I started recording, I spawned in and there was a wall of flesh just waiting to kill me. So that was a fun time. It wasn't really a wall of flesh, but there were parts of a wall of flesh that were waiting to kill me. At, like, exactly as soon as I spawned in. Now you'll see that these people just have uh, exclamation points over their head. That's just from some of the mods and like the quests and stuff. But I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'm just gonna, You just get a sword that does apparently 178 melee damage. So you know what, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Hopefully those lasers don't kill me. Nope, they do. Okay. So yeah, sometimes there's random projectiles on swords. Some of which kill you, some of which don't. This one does. But it also does 178 melee damage, so I'm just going to keep using it for the time being. 
But that's what this random that's what this randomizer mod does. It makes everything really stupid. But yeah, if you guys want to check out this randomizer mod for yourself, then on Steam you can download the uh, mod loader, the T mod loader, because it is actually now on Steam. And then as you saw in the beginning of the video, all of the mods that I'm using. So if you guys would like to, ow. If you guys would like to try out this chaos for yourself, which I don't know why you would. But if you feel like it, then by all means, go straight ahead. I will say that obviously you can tell I'm pretty much dying a lot. And there's not really a whole lot I can do about it. So, this is going to be a fun time. I can't kill him because I don't have any weapons that reach up there. And he's just going to forever be just here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this main menu and I'm going to rejoin. I'm probably going to have to do that a lot, by the way. As soon as you exit the game and join back in, everything gets its normal stats back. So this thing doesn't do 100 damage, and it doesn't shoot lasers that kill me. It does 6, and is just a normal sword. But now we have a dragon on us, or well, a person that's trying to be a dragon. So that's fun. And I'm dying. That's also fun. Is he just- will he kill me? You know what? Oh my god, what was that? Oh, it's not- Yarin, it's um, it's Betsy from the old ones army. That's why you have these little flying things. That's what it is. All right, that's pretty cool. That's also why you got the uh, old ones army music. But yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm having a bit of a of a struggle because I don't have armor. I don't have any good weapons, and there's a Betsy trying to kill me. So. Yeah, there's also now whatever that is, also trying to kill me, which has 10,000 health, so you know, that's fun. Okay. Decent armor. Actually, no, that's, that's pretty good armor. And I need to run, because I don't have anything- and I'm dead. I also don't know what that guy- alright, well, just gonna- Rejoin the world. I should probably- you should probably get used to that happening as well if you're gonna do the randomizer mod, because it's probably gonna happen a lot. Fantastic. Well. Hey, you. You're finally away. It takes one drop to get, like, an end calamity weapon. What is this guy doing? I'm just gonna leave- I'm just gonna leave you be. You have fun there. <laughs> Alright, he stopped. And a Moon Lord! Fantastic! Exactly what I wanted. Oh, but hold on. We got a thing. We got two things, actually. I just have to, you know, make it over there without getting murdered in the first three seconds. Which... probably won't happen. Man, I'm having a great time. So there's a Moon Lord, a Plantera, there's a Golem Head above us. Uh, an Old One's Army that can teleport. Laser shooting people, fireballs, eyes, a weird pirate that's just floating around. I know we had that item over there, but... There's nothing I can do. I'm going to restart because I can't deal with this. Unless I just keep dying, which might happen a lot. There we go, okay. Alright. And we got a Wondrous Wand. That actually sounds like an actual name. Alright, it does 153 magic damage. And does whatever that does. Does that hurt me? No, but I can get really good weapons. So it's an infinite weapon, uh, infinite weapon wand that probably will also hurt things. So I'm going to keep and use this because 
that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Alright, and I just gotta, you know, wait here and then just slowly but surely keep killing this thing. And there we go. Oh, that, that's why. I just spawned in that. Hello, and welcome. I'm going to grab whatever this is. 193 magic damage. Alright. But this this wand is better. Because it does that multiple times in a row. Luckily they're not shooting anything now. But they are able to. That's why I just wish I had melee. Because this does... I can hit them through here. Alright, we did it! And I got... Unlimited nails! Nice. I don't know what those are used for. And that just kills me. Alright. Fantastic. So I'm gonna get rid of these. Because if I throw them, they just kill me. Actually, what if I toss them down on the ground, then pick them up again? They do the same thing. Okay. Alright, it just doesn't throw anything. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so there's just a, uh... There's just 6,000 treasure bags for, um, the Wall of Flesh. Hmm. I don't have bullets, but there's some pretty good swords, I mean. That's pretty cool. Is there, like, there's boots? There's, those are worse boots. Is there, like, a chest, a chest piece? Um, yeah, chests also have randomized drops. They're probably the more overpowered of stuff. Because they could just have, you know, anything in it. Alright, so I don't really need any of this. It's just like crafting tables and dyes and weird blocks. And then some cool weapons, I guess. I also have a gun that shoots... I don't know... Oh, gel. Okay. I have a new sword, which shoots stars at people. That actually might be really good. I'm gonna go check this out. I'm gonna go test. There's just a mountain missing here. But alright. See what you got. Gold squirrels. A lot of gold squirrels. Bow. Probably sell those for a lot of money. Some form of light, and also post-Martian loot tokens, which will be helpful. There's a moon lord that spawns somewhere. What the loot tokens do is they can just you can just make stuff with them. Specifically like loot things that you want, or just some other stuff. Solar fragment blocks. Oh wait, here we go. We got some armor. I'll use this. This actually is, it's not a bad ranged weapon. Uh, get rid of that. Okay! Never mind. There's a worm somewhere. Oh, it's this chicken. Kinda wanna get wings. I know normally you can't do that until hard mode. But, oh, here we go. These things actually don't hurt that bad now. So I can actually kill this thing somewhat. Eh, probably not, considering that thing has 10,000 health. This is going to be a bit of a challenge. There's something shooting lasers at me. There's a lot of stuff over there too, though. I might try and get back over there. Yeah, this is a better sword than these, probably. I'll keep them on me for now, but I probably won't need them. Just cause, you know. Look how many daggers it's throwing! Oh, there's a boss somewhere. Where did you drop? Alright, I'll just equip that. Alright, there we go. Max life. At least 
as much as I can get with uh, only heart crystals. The lowest three row inventory of history is an armor defense, no set bonus. Oh. Okay. So what that means is any accessory or armor I have down here, it still uses it. So if I do this, then I have more magic damage and such. So basically any accessory I have, I want it to be below. And you know what works, because if I take this off, you'll see that the mana goes down to 1. But then if I, it, if I put it back on, it goes up to 2 again. So basically any uh, thing that is an accessory or armor piece should go in the bottom three rows of my inventory. Good to know. Alright, well this is going to be easy. Oh, I can just keep doing this. Okay. Because Skeletron doesn't kill the old man, you can just keep spawning and killing Skeletron. <laughs> alright, let's see what's, what hell is in here. Obviously get all your armor because it all does give me defense. Take that. Golden keys. Perfect. There's something trying to kill me. Which is not really succeeding at. I can't break this, so I can't get into the dungeon. So I'm gonna need that, uh... There we go. That's also just, that's just useful to have. Teleport you to your cursor at any time you want. You also, I cannot see anything. <sighs> I'm stuck. <laughs> Alright, well... Oh, I'm here. Alright, I'll take it. I know I have this cursor thing, but I don't want to use it. I, I want to try to not use it. But I am going to use it just to get up here. There's something over there trying to kill me, and it's working. And I don't know what it is. I also want these, so... What's trying to kill me? Oh, it's you. There we go. I am just looking to try and get wings, but I basically have a rod of discord, so I'm fine with that. But this axe does a lot of damage. Alright. I'd say this is going pretty well. It wasn't in the beginning, but it is now, and I'm dead. Alright, well this is going to be a good place to end off, and just so it, things don't get too hectic, there we go. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe as well as leave a comment down below telling me what you liked, as well as what you think I could do differently. And if you, as always, if you guys want to see more of this randomizer mod, as well as any other mods in fact, then tell me down below. I'm always interested in your guys' ideas or what you guys want to see. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will talk to you all later. See you guys.